the robotics industry is facing new challenges. We are now moving in from the traditional automotive industry into a new area of uh, robotics where we have new customers that will require much more of ease of use. Vara Robotics started in, in 2021 and it brings together academic partners. From the industrial partners we have ABB, Ericsson and uh, Algorix that's creating a dynamic ecosystem where industry and, and academia can work. Because our ultimate goal uh, in the end is to bridge the gap between academia and uh, industry. I'm a PhD student. I'm here at War Robotics because I've been using the robots for my own experiments. There is a really good hardware setup, so it's nice to work with one of the leading industry partners in robotics. And I was particularly interested in the mobile manipulators that I could use for navigation tasks. In our lab we have um, several robotic platforms. We have uh, simulation environments and features for uh, research within uh, simultaneous localization and mapping, autonomous navigation, uh, perception, object detection and um, grasping. We provide uh, students with a platform where they can test, validate and integrate the, their methods uh, against uh, challenging industrial use cases that are brought forward by our industrial partners. Oftentimes in a standard academic institution you don't have access to all these tools. ABB is a global company uh, working with electrification and automation. It is a very technology intense company. We invest a lot of money in research and development. We at ABB Corporate Research try to transform the university research to industry-ready research. We try to create networks with academia in order to make the recruitment of new personnel possible as well as following the top research results in a close way. ABB Robotics uh, is a manufacturer of industrial robots, cobots and autonomous uh, mobile robots. With the VARA Research Lab, we have the possibility to actually inspire what is happening in, in the academic world. We play on a commercial market, but we are also open to competition and we need to be say, in the forefront of, of new technologies. And being together like this makes it possible for us to bring in new technologies to our development pipeline. The main challenge that the industry are facing is how to capitalize on the enormous possibility that this new technology that is AI provide us in industry. One of the parallel that you can draw to VARA is European Union projects, where you also have possibility to close collaborate with non-competitive industries together with the researchers, to look at the same topic of research from different angles. And usually the innovation is created exactly there. The benefit is mutual. We see a big benefit of having our employees as industrial PhD students working in the Vara Robotics Lab, because we get both our employees uh, working together with the academic partners uh, and also creating a big network of connections and then they can also accelerate that work and, and bring it into our products. There is an exciting future for us in, in the academic collaboration. What we would like to do is to connect the research that we do in this Vara lab with the next level of, of robotics in the future, bringing all these tools with perception, uh, vision uh, and AI language uh, into uh, the picture. With Vara Robotics, we, we give the students the fully operational cutting edge uh, lab environment, which means that the student can spend time refining their research and seamlessly integrate it into our platforms. We provide expert support that's fostering the collaboration between the students and the industry experts. And that enhances both the research experience and the outcomes. To me, the great benefit is to get in close contact with industry. So sometimes in research it happens that you come up with a problem that doesn't have a solution yet and you find a solution. This gives you the opportunity to talk to people and ask them what are challenges in industry right now. 
The future of robotics needs a lot of collaboration. For example, taking a manip mobile manipulator and let it do a meaningful task in a hospital or some other environment. It takes more than just one researcher to solve this problem because we have the entire robotics pipeline that we need to consider. The era that we are living with multi-challenges, collaboration will be the key. My vision, my expectation for the future is that we see more of this kind of collaboration between academia and industry.